Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about an important topic in binary search which is called as binary search on answer space. This is a sub problems or a, you know pattern and questions which are based on the binary search. So let's talk about this. Most of the time these questions which are you know frame on this concept are of medium level and I've been asked in a lot of interviews like Flipkart, Amazon etc. So let's understand this concept. Once you understand this concept, trust me, all the questions which will follow on this particular pattern are very, very easy to solve. Okay. So binary search on answer space. What does it mean? Let's talk about it. First thing is that you know to apply binary search. The first and foremost requirement is that we need a sorted sequence right and by sequence i mean is that you need basically a sorted string or a, you know sorted numbers right whether it's ascending or descending order we need a sorted sequence once you have a sorted sequence then you can apply binary search on it to you know find a target value correct but what if in certain questions right if you are tried if you if you can come up with the range in which your answer can lie what I'm saying is, let's say, suppose the question is asking you to find out some minimum speed, right? Some story is there and then you're supposed to find out some minimum speed. And looking at the question, you can determine this answer, this possible answer, whatever the minimum speed we are looking at, can lie, will always lie within a given range from A to B. That means your answer of whatever, like for example, if you're trying to look at a minimum speed, right? If this is always going to lie between a fixed range. If you can come up with this range for an answer, for a problem statement you're trying to solve, you can think about solving this question more efficiently using the concept of binary search. Let's understand how this, you know, will uh, be solved using binary search. Because for a particular answer, you can come up with a possible range, right? And this range, let's say A and B. You can see this range because now you have a range for your answer. You are kind of ticking off the first requirement, first and the main requirement for binary search. That is the requirement of having a sorted sequence. So imagine, let's say, the uh, my answer for the problem statement, right? Let's say the range of my minimum speed which I'm looking at is nothing but somewhere between 1 to 100. So I'm sure that my for all the possible test cases of that question, the minimum speed will not be, you know, will always be in this range from 1 to 100. That means now you have a sorted sequence which is in ascending order numbers from 1 to 100 right obviously natural numbers are in sorted sequence by default right and what you're trying to find out is you are trying to find out the minimum speed right does it ring a bell can we now apply binary search here absolutely what we can do at this suppose now you have these numbers until 100 right let's say you find out the mid of this values how do you find mid similarly using binary search concept this is your now the range is this is the low value and this is the high value correct mid will be somewhere around your 101 by 2 somewhere around 50 right using the same integer division which we use for binary search now what we have to check is okay depending upon what the question is asking depending upon the storyline of the question we are going to you know run a function we can call that function as is possible this is possible is nothing but this function in this function we are going to just check if we use 50 as a possible answer we are going to check can 50 be a possible answer for the question which we are trying to solve right if it is possible if this gives us yes we it's possible to have 50 as a possible answer then we are going to save this value into say 50 right into some variable called 50 now let's say we are trying to uh, the question is asking us to find out minimum you know minimum speed okay let's say it's trying to find out minimum speed and we have you know come up with the middle value 50 and let's say 50 was able to you know satisfy the questions uh, storyline and was meaning that it was uh, you know satisfying all the constraints which the question has mentioned right so we can say ki, yes it is a possible answer very similar to what you do in a typical binary search where we said that a of mid equal to equal to target 
right if that is the case and let's say you're trying to find out the first occurrence of that number right so what we say ki, okay there are two possibilities yes this can be the first occurrence and what we say is we try to now find is there a possible occurrence before that right similar to that here also what we're going to say is ki, okay 50 can be one of the possible answer but because we're trying to find out minimum value let's try and see ki, can i have you know a minimum speed which is less than 50 that means if 50 was a possible answer because i'm trying to find out minimum speed can i not see that if i can find you know a value less than 50 and which also satisfies the question and if i get that then i'm able to find out a minimum value you know which is less than 50 correct so how do you do that in binary search simple is that now you will be searching in this half of your uh, sorted sequence that means you will have your high will be basically become mid minus one correct so now you have numbers from one to you know 49 in which you're going to try and find out the possible minimum speed correct let's say between one and 49 we got some middle value right and this middle value which we are looking at let's say this speed is minimum value or the mid value which we are looking at between one and 49 which will be nothing but if you find out your low is now one your high is nothing but 49 to find out the mid, mid value it's nothing but 50 divided by 2 which is nothing but 25 let's now plug this 25 in again this function right this is possible function let me repeat again is possible function will nothing be uh, but you know it's just like you're trying to find out like if i put this value 25 in the question is the is, is it possible to you know satisfy the questions constraint if it is true then we can say that 25 can be a possible you know minimum speed earlier we got a value of 50 and let's say now 25 is a possible speed now what we can say is replace this value of 50 with what 25 because now we have got a smaller speed than 50 and a question was asking for minimum speed all right now let's assume suppose if this 25 or when you plug in this method of is possible and let's say this 25 is not satisfying the question if that is the case what you're going to do is we have realized that when you're looking at 25 okay this value does not you know satisfy the question then where are you actually going to search you are going to now look at a speed which is greater than 25 between 25 to 49 why because we already know 50 satisfies the question so now we're trying to look at is there possible to have a minimum speed which is less than 50 and it lies between what 26 to 49 in other words whenever you are this possible function says as mid value is not the correct answer what you are basically going to do is you are going to search in the right hand side of your middle value so that's why your low is going to become what mid plus one what you're actually doing here is doing binary search right as you can see only difference from the standard binary search is this condition usually you actually equate your the element which is come you know which is placed in the middle with the target value instead of that you are actually now replacing it with a function which is called as is possible and this is possible is always the contents of this is possible the code for this is possible is going to depend upon what story or what problem you are been trying trying to solve in the question right so how do you identify such questions how do you know like given a question that i have to apply binary search on the answer space the answer is very easy you have to identify two main factors in the question if the question is trying to ask you a minimum value like you have to find out minimum speed or you know you have to find out the minimum uh, you know number of chocolates something some minimum value you are supposed to find out or the question is asking you to find out some maximum value it is the first hint second and most important thing for this you know for a question to be solved using binary search and answer space is that for whatever answer you are trying to look at at the possible solution you should be able to come up with a range for that solution if you can say like let's assume that you're trying to find out maximum speed and you can say that my answer that speed which i'm trying to look for which will solve my question that solution can always lie in you know a range a range we can come up with some range because this is going to provide the sorted sequence which we need to apply binary research if for a question you can do you can you can figure out these two things then you can definitely try and apply binary search on that on those question the time complexity as we'll see further mostly the time complexity for such functions are usually o of n log n we'll see to this how it's o of n log n but it is much you know efficient than a traditional you know o of n square solution as i hope everybody knows o of n log n is actually more efficient as compared to o of n square when it comes to asymptotic notations right so if you any question if it's trying to ask you minimum or maximum value 
and along with that for the solution okay if you can come up with a range right if these two things are satisfied always think about you know applying binary search on that question to solve the problem now let's look at an example to understand you know how you know we identify whether the question is can be solved using binary search and how do we actually come up with this is possible method 